guys welcome back so in my previous video i have set the category filter and now let's handle the rating filter okay so i simply go back to my vs code go to the top and let's, let's close this buttons close it okay so now first of all let's put in here the rating so cons the rating okay and then the set rating definitely we used it and by default the rating is going to be zero okay and let's pass in here the rating okay so we save it go to the actions part of actions I can also put here the ratings and ratings must be greater than equal to the ratings that will be provided here and by default rating is going to be zero also here and then we also have to put this And rating must be greater than the rating that we will provide. So we save it go back and now go to here. And here I can simply copy this div. So copy it from here, control C, and I put here the same. Alright, so now first of all, the margin let's type here 3 because I need less spacing now margin top of 5 and let's type here rating ok and then instead of mapping through the categories I have to map through here and array I should type here 5 4 3 2 1 ok so I map through this array and for each star value the ally style is going to be definitely pointer, list style is none, t is going to be star, which is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then on click, I have to set the rating, and it is going to be star, okay. And then inside of the spendy, here I simply have to display the stars. So let's put in here div dot rating dash outer, okay. And then div dot rating dash inner. Okay, so now we have to specify on the five stars. I have to, I have to fill the five, then four, then three, then two. Okay, so in that case we can use this array. So what I do is I simply type here the style. So style, and I simply type here width and the width. I give a back tick. Oops. Now we can see put in here star multiply by 20, then the percent. So, for example, the first one we have 5. So, 5 multiply by 20 will be 100 and 100 percent. Then 4, 4 multiply by 20 will be 80. Then the 80 percent, this means 4 stars. In this case, I can get all these stars. Okay. So, we save it. And now if I go back, you will see here the ratings. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know if they have the rating value or not because I have not yet implemented the rating on the front end. But I can check it in my back end and the data folder. Um, for example, airports have rating 4.8 okay and then the macbook has rating 4.9 good so this has rating 5 so this means that if i click on the 5 star i i, I supposed to get only apples because the previous two products has rating like 4.8 and 4.9 so i want to get products that's uh, rating must be 5 or greater than 5 uh, definitely we don't have any product that has rating greater than 5 so that will be equal to 5 if I go back and click on here 5, 
as you can see that I only get here products that has grading even five. So this means that grading product uh, filter is also working. All right, so now we are done with our uh, products filter. I hope that you understand. Now these are only three main filters: the price filter, category filter, and then the rating filter. You can also add more filters if you want, like the seller filter and whatever you want to add. So this is just idea to show you how filters work. So I hope that you understand. So that's it for this video. If there is still any confusion, but definitely ask me a question. I'm always here to help you. So that's the end of this section. So in the next section, I will first of all handle the user and authentication on the front end, like login, register, on service page, login, user here, and all this stuff related to the users and authentication. And also, I will add Cloudinary in my next section because I have to also upload the image of the user before registering. Okay. So I will do all this stuff related to the authentication in my next video.